Hello, I'm Javis Lewis and in this episode I want to share some experiences with you that I had with a gadget I bought recently thanks to a survey I did for GoPro. I got 30% off an accessory uh, from their website as a kind of a thank you and so I decided to buy this, the 3.5 millimeter microphone adapter for the GoPro Hero 5, 6 and 7. They made it Hero 7 compatible, they, they put a little sticker on here, That's, I guess it's kind of old stock that just got a sticker on the case. Now, I've seen many bad reviews on this thing and people really didn't like it and I thought I wanted to uh, respond and explain a little bit how this thing works because seriously there's just no documentation that comes with this thing at all. So either on the Amazon listing or on the website by gopro.com or even in the packet there's literally there's nothing in here that tells you how this thing works. And this is you know, a little bit weird. So you get you get this card here. Well, when I say cards, I'm gonna have a piece of paper whoops, that says uh, update your GoPro to a certain latest software version. That's really all you get. Other than that, uh, you gotta kind of make it up as you go along. So <laughs> the biggest criticism that this little guy has received is the fact that it looks like this. So it looks rather large. If you compare that to the actual GoPro camera, you'd think, hey, that is kind of, you know, my good Goodness, what is going on here so uh, why why didn't they just put that inside the camera like they did with the GoPro Hero 4 and before well I guess the reason is circuit design and perhaps money so uh, all your processing equipment like the uh, A to D converter that takes up time and space and it's probably just another chip on that already very tiny GoPro and I guess they just couldn't fit it in on the GoPro 4 that I also have that I'm currently using to record this video that was all built in and all we needed was a little uh, 3.5 millimeter TRS to USB connector to attach external microphones but with the GoPro Hero 5 black 6 black and 7 black we need this box and uh, when you put it in, so I've, I've removed the door here from my from my Hero 5. It has a standard USB-C port and you can literally just plug it in like so. Uh, boom. And it either dangles out like so, or you can also put it in the other way around. It doesn't matter. The USB-C is kind of omnidirectional or bidirectional, whatever you want to call it. And then it'll look like this. So no matter which way you want to mount this thing, you're going to have to deal with a box that dangles out. The actual box itself has two inputs, namely one USB-C input here. So that allows for the camera to be charged and charging to be passed through into the camera while you're using it. And the other one is, of course, uh, the 3.5 millimeter microphone connector. Now, before we get into how to set this thing up inside your GoPro, there are a couple of things that I do need to mention. I'm using them with one of these. So I've, I've recently reviewed this. I'm using it with a uh, wind muff and this is a Zafiro microphone. So the wind muff wasn't part of that. I just kind of mixed two projects together there. But have a look at my Zafiro lapel microphone comparison in another video. I'm going to link to that below. So usually I put that on me like that and then I'm going to jump on my bike. GoPro points at me like that and then I I can tell a story I can send messages to to my people around the world so that's what I'm doing and that's why I thought this thing would come in handy previously I've always recorded the separate feed from this directly into my iPhone and then I had to sync it up later and so with this adapter it's no longer necessary I have really good quality audio going in to the GoPro feed right away so that's the reason why I'm doing it that's how I'm using it now, I was a little bit surprised that when uh, you look at this connector here, that's a so-called TRRS connector. And what that means is it has a tip and it has two rings. So that, those are, that's what the R stand for, basically. So 3.5 millimeter is the diameter. And then you have the, the T for one tip and then you have the R, R and then S. I don't know what S stands for. I guess that's ground or whatever don't know really but <laughs> this is meant if you look at um, uh, headphones for mobile telephones they usually have these two contacts here and that delivers you stereo audio and it also has something like a microphone built in so they, they basically have three channels plus ground that's how that works now I plug this thing in 
right into here into the GoPro adapter and of course it didn't work and but you know with no documentation in this packet whatsoever I couldn't work out what it is was it a setting I mean you get this about as soon as you connect this you get about six extra settings in the GoPro and we're going to go through that in a moment uh, but the main thing the my, my main problem was it just wasn't working and I was thinking well why not what's what's going on there well it's because this thing requires a TRS input rather than a TRRS input and the difference is of course that the TRS is the regular kind of stereo 3.5 millimeter headphone socket without the microphone. So luckily the friendly people from Zafira that I got this microphone from, they gave me an adapter with each microphone that I purchased from them. And this is the difference. Can you see that here? This, uh, that's, that's probably best. This one is the one that comes out of the microphone directly. That's the TRRS. And this one is an adapter that turns TRRS going into here into TRS so we have the tip the ring and we have the whatever mysterious S is here and that is the the regular stereo headphone without the microphone thing and that works well in the GoPro Hero microphone adapter so that means if I wanted to use this I need to do it like this so I have to use my microphone TRRS into a TRRS to TRS converter and then that thing goes into here and then that thing goes into my GoPro and that is how this is going to work and it's going to work really well with that. Now as soon as you put that thing in as I said you're going to get some I'm not using this microphone to record this feed by the way just just wanted you to know that <laughs> as soon as you plug this thing in you get some additional settings and it's is very difficult for me to show you this on the live GoPro but technically if you access settings on the GoPro you swipe down from the top here and you go into preferences the very blurred out washed out not quite in focus preferences and then you scroll all the way to the bottom here oops sorry yeah you scroll all the way to the bottom and there's one menu that's called it you scroll past general past touch display past regional and there's io and then you get this little menu here that says audio input and currently it's set to standard mic so it kind of remembers what it was set to the last time you've used it so that's that's kind of nice uh, you can once you tap on this you then get uh, the option standard mic standard mic plus powered mic powered mic plus and you get line in and that really depends on what type of microphone you're using for your GoPro so you get the same options as soon as you connect it to your mobile device via Wi-Fi you get the same you get the same options but this whole IO menu only ever shows up when you connect it to your mobile device as soon as you plug this thing in so there are other adapters that do not cost $50 that are not made by GoPro and apparently they do not unlock this menu and that's kind of the key to using this adapter in the first place now my microphone that I've got here is a really no frills $15 microphone from Amazon I can link to it in the description if you like and for me standard mic works perfectly well from what I understand Standard Mic Plus powers the levels by about 20 dB, so it makes it a much hotter. It really depends if your mic records the audio rather quietly or if it already boosts the values internally. So I would play around with that. Those are the those are the standard mic. Standard mic is literally as it goes in, microphone into this thing into the GoPro records it. And plus means the audio is boosted by a certain amount of levels. I believe it's about 20 dB. Now the next option here, powered mic, that is something that is required for things like a Sony microphone that have a plug-in power thing. Usually those microphones are active microphones. This is a passive microphone. That means it does not require external power. It's usually five volts or something. This thing does not require it, but there are microphones out there that do require it, that need plug-in power, and that's how you're gonna activate it. So that's how you send power into the microphone. 
I've tried it with that setting on this microphone. It didn't break it, but you know, it's one of those things, probably best to err on the side of caution. Just thought I'd mention that. So then we have Powered Mic Plus, which is exactly the same thing for a plug-in power requiring microphone that boosts the levels by 20 dB. So that's, again, that's something that you need to to try out. Notice that if you do distort the audio because you're, you're increasing the levels too much, once distorted, you ain't gonna bring that back. So very important to remember. And then we have the last option, which is line in, and that is good for instruments that don't require microphone amplification. So this doesn't have mic this doesn't have plug in power. This is like the standard microphone, but this setting is basically exactly the same as using your line input on a sound card versus the microphone input on a sound card. So here you're going to switch that in software. So uh, line in is no amplification and mic in, like standard mic in, would be regular microphone amplification. And then standard mic in plus is kind of that boosted by a number of dB. I believe it's 20 dB. I don't even remember where I've read that, but I did so much research. I have thrown away the link. Sorry about that. But it's, yeah, it's one of those things. That's from, from what I understand, that's what it is. And of course, there's no documentation in the box that would tell you this, sadly. So not so good GoPro. Anyway, that is how it works. Uh, there is one other setting that you may want to take a look at, at the special audio settings that's not in the preferences. That is only available if you just uh, go out and back into your regular screen here. That is accessible when you swipe to the right into the screen here, swipe in from the right, then you open <coughs> demonstration effect. Then you can enable the ProTune menu. And ProTune is something that kind of activates further settings in the GoPro. If you just, if this button is grayed out, just tap it at the bottom like so, and then it's switched on. And one of these options here, so there's anything from exposure, control to what the sensitivity of the chip is, how much the amplification for the video is. But there's also one option, which is down here under audio. And that is currently set to off. That's kind of the normal setting when ProTune is switched off. That, if you switch that on, you can indeed record a raw audio track. Now this is enabled even without the microphone adapter plugged in. But what that means is the GoPro will then create a separate audio WAV file on your memory card next to the regular video file, also with embedded audio. Just thought I'd let you know that if you are recording high quality audio and you want a separate feed to, to easily process once you're done with the recording, then this is gonna do that. That's it for today. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about this little gadget, then do let me know. Remember the most important thing, A, it's not actually that bad. Yes, it is large and dangles out, but it is doing a phenomenal job. I think, uh, I think the um, $50 is perhaps a little bit harsh to ask for this, but if you ever get a discount at GoPro, then you do pick one up. If you're using external audio feeds or external microphones with your GoPro, very handy accessory. And the other very, very important thing to remember is this thing only works with the TRS input, namely this one, not with the TRRS input. If you have one of those microphones, you need an adapter like this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. I appreciate your comments. Um, if you like this video, then of course, share it with friends, family, and total strangers. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.